Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Marcus Aurelius, and this is Dominions 4. Sunday, bloody Sunday. Watch, now I'm going to get dinged for a copyright violation. I just know it. Anyway, I'd like to introduce some new friends to the team. We have Gustav von Berg Workglass, which uh, I, I don't know for a fact, but I believe it means something like a miner of glass or glass miner. And then we have JC Destroyer down here. So our Black Priest retinue is getting ever stronger. I'm not quite ready to send them out. I want a few more, and I want to figure out what I'm going to do in terms of guarding them. But for right now, Stamps is casting Gnome Lore, since he's the lucky guy who has two Earth. So we're hopefully going to get some Earth gems coming soon. It's been brought to my attention that we are severely lacking in fire as well. I have a plan for that. Once Katarina is done summoning... And I said this wrong last game, but uh, last episode. It's Yeknodcula, not Yednocula. Yeknodcula. And once that is done, then we will have someone else who can summon vampire counts, and Katarina can forge what is called a flaming skull, which will give one of my lucky fire random priests, looks like Holmgar or Falresh, the ability to augury. Of course, I'll need to uh, spend some astral pearls to turn into fire gems to get the ball rolling. But once we find a side or two, we should be pretty good. In fact, let's look through what we found so far. The Apostle Angle we've already seen. The Enchanted Gate we've seen. Gallows we have seen. Bile Marsh. This is a plus E. Hydra Hatchling. Oh, sorry. That's in Fever Fens. So this allows us to recruit a Hydra Hatchling, which is actually a unit we could have recruited for free anywhere. Well, not for free, but we could have recruited anywhere if we had a chosen... If you, the viewers, had chosen L.A. Pythium instead of Ulm. It's this little guy right here. Actually, from what I hear, they're not that impressive. The real Hydras are impressive, but the Hatchlings, meh. You could take them or leave them. And they have poison around them, so that's also difficult for your non-poison troops. We have an Arena. What does that do again? Okay, gold. Great. Hidden Forest in Modern Wield. We can recruit a Witch. That might be very useful. Let's take a look at that. And of course they're all on the border, surrounded by enemy enemy armies, because why not? Um, okay, a Witch is one Earth, one Nature. So not so good. Not so good. It could have been better. Uh, maybe two, two of one of these I would have taken. That would have been a lot of fun. But one Earth, one Nature, we have that already with our national troops. Um, we don't have the combination of both of them, so there might be some situations in the future where that's useful. But for right now, I can't really see a reason for it. They are sacred, though, which is interesting. I mean, I'll probably build a lab there anyway, simply to blood hunt, because it's right about the number of people I want to do that. I'm just trying really hard not to blood hunt on the border provinces, because then all it, all it takes is one good attack, and I lose everything. So I'm trying to... I'm trying to keep the blood hunting to a protected, or at least one step away from trouble, province. Although, if you'll notice, my empire is very wide, but not very deep. Meaning, pretty much everywhere the enemy is, there are only a few stops from my capital, my castles, the things that I hold near and dear. Okay, Star of the Pond we've seen. Arena, where were there already? Okay. Lake of Reflected Time. Astral, okay. Crystal Garden, Astral, yep. Battlefield's death. A maze is astral. This is where the diseases come from. This is the death and earth and the throne. We've seen that. Tomb of the Grand Thaumaturg. I think this is where our death uh, ritual spells are further, so I should be casting my Dark Knowledge from there, actually. Another maze. Enchanted field. 50 supply. I'll take it. And our, so our nature gem complement. And there's our two slave markets. Excellent. So our nature gem is, uh, sorry, the amount of nature gems that we are getting each turn is increasing. That is looking very sharp. And we're continuing to site search, although I think we stopped with most everything simply because we can't go any further. In fact, do we have one of our death ladies here? Jora. Okay, Jora is going to attempt to dark knowledge, knowing that she can go a little further, and we can, good. We have options. Let's utilize them. Excellent. Okay, before we get started and end the turn, well, I'll end the turn, and then I'll talk while I'm doing that. So, I have something serious to discuss, so I'm going to put on my serious voice. No, 
<laughs> I'm really not. Uh, a gentleman who has a lot of skill and experience with Dominions, who's been part of the community for a long time, and whose opinions I respect very highly, has suggested to me that the popularity of my channel... How do I word this? Maybe players who are new to Dominions are discovering it through me, or are coming to me and watching my episodes, and this, this friend of mine suggested that that in a way, maybe a bad thing, because I am not an expert player of the game. Now, I, I don't pretend to be. I make it very clear that I am not an expert. I make it clear that I play as a result of entertainment rather than as some kind of expert or guru of Dominion's strategy. But if you are new to the game, and if you are learning to play better, play well, I highly recommend you go to the official forums on Desura and read there, because that's where the real experts hang out. And, you know, they might not be as witty or have a voice as sexy as mine, but they are very skilled and very intelligent, and you can learn a lot about how to play the game the right way, more so than just watching me. You know, come to me for fun and for entertainment, but definitely go to the forums for your knowledge. That being said, I am getting better. Obviously, I'm a better player now than I was when I started my Ursula campaign. I, I really like how I started this series. I, I felt like my initial expansion was pretty good. So I'm learning a lot, and uh, that's what I like about this channel. It's not necessarily me from my ivory tower on high telling all the little people how to play Dominions. It's actually me learning how to be a better player, interacting with all of you. You know, I welcome everybody here, whether you're an expert in the game or you're brand new and never played before. I don't care. I just like people. So, yeah. Okay, I'm no expert. Please don't, uh, especially if you're going into the multiplayer arena, please don't uh, use me as any kind of, of guideline. Look in the forums. Alright, thank you so much. Conjuration is done. Evocation we're still working on, but we gained a level. Another death site. No earth site, however. No astral site. And no nature site. Oh well, you can't win them all. Chaos Angel? Hmm, you are not doing a great job. No blood slaves, huh? Colonial, of course, is champ and continues to bring in the slaves like never seen before. And Nihilex is act actually doing a fantastic job as well. Vokan. Okay, this is me trying to take back this province adjacent to my capital. This is my large army with King Midas and Herzogian. And somehow, poor Herzogian got horror marked. Now, I haven't had to deal with this yet in this campaign, so let me kind of tell you while the battle's playing what that means. Horror marking is a spell, or I suppose sights and items can do it too. And what it is, is it's kind of like a blinking light on you to the astral plane. And these, these uh, very difficult to kill, tough enemy creatures called horrors are attracted to it. Now, a little horror mark probably won't be a big deal. You have a chance that nothing will ever happen, but if you have a big horror mark, eventually Yan is going to be attacked by a horror. And that generally takes place in like a kind of like an assassination attempt, where it's just a horror versus him. And uh, right now, he's not really set up to survive that. If that happens right now, he's, he's going bye-bye. Maybe later, if I can get him some decent items, he might be able to hold his own. But this will never go away. A horror mark is forever. Is it the crown? No. It must have just happened as a spell. And, uh... So that's a problem. It's, it's eventually going to kill our good friend, Jan. And, uh... That's, that's no good. Especially because he's wearing our crown of command. But hopefully it won't happen for a while. And, uh... He'll be able to continue the march... For a good many turns to come. And we have routed them. Their centaurs are like brick houses, but we are, we're doing what damage we can. And that's, that's a shame. That's, that's a real shame. Okay. Exabothia, they are coming after us. This is where we just were. Is this going to be one of those kind of things where we continually just... What are you? Heavy cavalry? No, you're not. Heavy cavalry have red shields, or red barding on their horses. Maybe you're a mercenary group? Plus, I guess that no independence mod doesn't really work perfectly. Well, I mean, it's definitely working to a degree because I'm seeing a lot more thematic armies, but 
I'm still seeing a lot of crossbowmen and heavy cavalry, and so, you know, it's not working fantastically. The enemy's still recruiting a lot of chaff. This guy's spooking me out here. He got around. Oh, and he just took someone out. Oh, dear. Guard the commander! Okay, so, note to self. Province defense in a horse uh, archer province is not good enough to withstand even a few heavy cavalry. And this guy is still rampaging through the back. These arrows, these arrows are not anywhere near as effective as our crossbows, I'll tell you that right now. Oh, good. The light cav at least spooked them into running away. But the, the, the heroes and the crossbowmen, all right, whew, that was, that was a bit spooky. We took away their keeper of traditions. So we kept that province, Winden. Not even sure that, it, okay. Here it is, folks. This is the biggie. Okay, what did they bring here? Mostly minotaurs, but the tough ones with the armor. A lot of their dryad hoplites with the awe. That's absolutely freaking terrible. Oh boy, and they're experienced. Is there someone here who could bless them? Because if that happens, then we're in some real trouble. I don't see a priest. Hopefully not. And then, these centaurs. Look at these guys! I mean, they're wearing full helmets. They are some scary, scary dudes. Why do they have... Oh, I guess from injuries? Looks like they've already been hit by something. Against which I have my Chaffee Province Defense. What in the... Okay, this guy, I mean, he's a normal guy, but for some reason the troop behind him, or, or from that angle, may look like he was wearing... See, can you see this? Kind of looks like he's wearing a brimmed hat. Kind of like a witch hunter. That would have been awesome. Okay, and here's our boy, Undying Jay. He's going to be terrorizing them. And he looks very, very dapper in his little... He's kind of kicking his leg out. He's sticking his arm out. He's going to raising his arms up. He's a, he's a tough little vampire man. Well, let's see. They're definitely ahead of us in quality, but maybe the terror will do its effect. And not frighten Undying Jay. Terror. Shadow Bolt did... Pretty much nothing. Frighten? No. Terror. Okay. There we go. Now he's finally doing it. Maybe because it was, they were too far away before. I guess terror doesn't have very good range. But now it does. Okay. Come on, everyone. All the infantry needs to do is just stand in the way while the crossbowmen do their work. Do, do your work, crossbowmen. There we go. Now, these guys that are blinking red, they're not going to rout. They're not going to be scared away. They're berserk. They are going to keep fighting until the end, and that is not a good thing for us. Because they're better melee fighters than anything we're bringing to the table. Come on. Come on. Damn it, I think we're going to lose this. I think our castle that we're was almost done, maybe a turn or two, is going to be lost. Oh, boy. Well, this is, a, this is a lesson learned here. Even the best province defense in the world. I spent so much money on this. It's just not going to do it against superior troops. Damn it. I lost the castle. And all that money, it's not coming back. It's, that was... I need that province, too. That is... Not a good thing. Scantrast. Okay, they tried this before. We beat them back. This time they brought a bit more to the table. They're probably going to win this too. Their armies are better than mine on a man-to-man -man basis. Or I guess a man-to-beast basis. These centaurs and those mintars are better than anything I can field. My guys have great armor, but... I mean, these are giant things. Yeah, of course we lost that. All right, Dershid. This is us kind of terrorizing them from behind. There's a temple in this province, so if we win, we'll be able to destroy it. Oh, look at you. Killer Manti. I don't know. We'll see. This army should be good. This is uh, Andrew and 
Ranger of Ulm. <laughs> Andrew and Herr Dr. Klinish. And I sincerely hope that they do not die. Because I care about them very much. Now, we should probably be able to easily take out the light cav. That shouldn't be a problem. Okay. The centaurs, a little bit more difficult. The manti, not a problem. Two heroes are kind of hanging out here by each other. That was interesting how they did that. And we held. So basically, we won the battles that didn't matter, and we lost the one battle that really mattered. Oh boy. Alright, well, it's a good thing we have some reinforcements on the way. I have Zerod here with... Uh, Oh, we're still building roads, are we? I thought that was a one-turn thing. Zerod and Demetric by themselves. And now they're into our fertile blood-hunting territories. I mean, we're in bad shape now. Shaikal. What's your purpose again? Oh, right, you're supposed to... Um, No, actually, I don't know what your purpose is. You're going to go here. Okay. Well, this army has done what they needed to do. They've caused a little bit of chaos. I'm not expecting to hold this province more than a minute. They are going to move back. Oh, shoot. You can only move one at a time, huh? Alright, they're going to do a... What do you call it? A planned retreat here while Jan and King Midas rush to defend our other territories. Since that, their army here is a bit more dangerous and more threatening to our livelihood than the other one. Now that Peter, I mean sorry, now that Norag is here, Peter's going to give all his wolves to him. They have terrible morale, but they're not going to be fighting, so I guess that's okay. And just in case someone ever attacks here, he's going to hold and stay behind. Okay. Actually, stand right in the middle of them. And Peter is going to go back home and summon more wolves. Nihilex is our greatest blood hunter, so he's going to continue doing that. Well, it's between him and Colonial. And the rest of you are going to do your thing. Patrol. Okay. Chaos Angel. Oh, no wonder you're not doing very well. You don't even have your Sanguine Dousing Rod. I'm just going to have you construct... Well, the enemy's kind of knocking at our gates here. Oh man, I can't give you... If I could give you some death gems, I would send you against these guys to summon Lamash, L Lamashtas. But I don't have death gems. Darn it. Because right now, with your normal paths, there's really not much you could do. I mean, you'll get killed in a second. Even with regeneration, because you have no protection. Is there any battlefield spells you can cast that are valuable? Yeah, if only. Bolt of Unlife is cool, but... Maybe dust uh, frighten. Hmm. There's really, I mean, I don't really have any any cool death magic that, that would help here. I guess you can just defend here. You can continue searching for blood slaves. Actually, since you didn't find any, the unrest is fine. But we need to help you out here. We're not quite ready with our black priests. We need... Oh, shoot. One turn's not going to do it. We need slightly more. If only we had a little bit more research capability. But we don't. So we're still no mooring. Now Katrina's free. So she will go ahead and forge Flaming Skull. There it is. Five fire, five death. We don't have any fire. So we're going to have to alchemize that. Oops. Get all that back. Okay, so let's alchemize some death gem or sorry, some fire gems. Alright. And then that will allow Holmgar or fall rush to augury. Meanwhile, where are you? Okay, let me make sure I get this right. 
Yek. Nod. Kula. Let me tell you a little bit about Yek Nod Kula. Yek Nod Kula is very similar to Katarina in that he comes from a family that has existed for a long time in the lands of Ulm, a notable and long-lived family. However, unlike Katarina's family, his Yeknodkula's family did succumb to the malediction. They did eat flesh. They are now, well, he is now a vampire count of quite advanced age. Let's see here. He is 404 years old. Now, Yednokula is a very powerful man, and that is why he is here in the capital summoning vampire counts to battle for Katarina. He, he frightens a lot of people. He's, he's an interesting character. He's kind of grumpy. He's a little on the strange side. He has an unhealthy fascination with gnomes. And uh, we are looking for gnomes out there in the world to give to him. Katarina only knows what he intends to do with these poor gnomes once he gets them. Probably drain their sweet, sweet gnome blood. But uh, generally people in the capital... They stay away from him. They don't they don't want to mess with this guy. He's he's kind of an odd duck. However, Katarina respects him very highly, but she has made it clear that if he ever refers to her as Kate again, she's going to sick Burkhard on him, and Burkhard is going to hang his entrails from a fir tree to celebrate the winter solstice. So uh Yaknodkila better watch it with that. Let's give him the bloodthorn, skull staff. Oh, are you kidding me? Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Can't obviously have uh, two weapons. That was dumb. But he should be able to forge the other one. Maybe. Hopefully. Maybe not. Okay. Maybe not. Okay. <laughs> Perhaps we were wrong here. Maybe Katarina needs the the blood thorn uh, and with it she can forge where are you my friend pardon me folks I've I'm not really experienced blood magic so I'm just trying to find this particular item the brazen vessel there we are Ooh, 30 blood slaves that's expensive well She's going to forge it, and then Yeknodkila will go to work. Right now, he will research. Okay, so we're we're behind on our fire searching for a turn. Sorry about that. Undying Jay. Apparently you died, so now you are back home. And, uh, I, ooh, I can definitely suicide you. Oh, oops. There we go. All right, are you prepared to give all again for Katarina? I know you are, Jay. You're a team player. Ah, oh, but you can't go there in just one turn. Okay, we'll get you here. I don't want to cast it here because you'll end up killing everything, not just the enemy, which is something I want to avoid doing, if at all possible. Zerod here with his his troops. We're just going to have you guys hold an attack closest for right now, since you're by yourself, and we'll put you in a nice little double line. That handles the Minotaurs pretty nicely. Zerod, you'll just stand behind them slightly. Okay. Helm is still building roads. He is a intrepid builder, that Helm. Dimitric, you're going to... Well, actually, you should go here. I don't want to get you anywhere near the Lamashtas. Castle's still coming up here, and it would take a very decent army to take us away from here. Let's build a lab. I think that would be a nice thing to do. Meanwhile, Arnold, can you build... Underground store. Well, let's do. Let's go to cheap ones first. So let's build a deep well. Okay. Adrian, you are going to build your temple finally. And uh, Adolf, you're going to wait again. Sorry for another temple. We are. This is our ranger production center. So we'll just continue producing rangers and another black. Nope, we can't afford a black priest. Well, can we afford... Yeah, we can. Excellent. I have a fellow who wants to be an infantry commander, so that'll be perfect. Meanwhile, we have a new ranger. Actually, 
I don't believe I have anybody who wants to be a ranger lined up. No, I, I don't think so. So we'll, we'll, we'll figure out who to name him very soon. Okay. Things are not looking well. I mean, you know, it's not tragic, but they're definitely out Winning us on the battlefield due to stronger troops. We have the magical advantage, hopefully, if I can bring it to bear. Again, not next turn, but the following turn. Our scouts are okay, although I shouldn't have two scouts standing next to each other. Get you up there. Midgard has shown no interest in us whatsoever, which is fantastic. And they're protecting us here, so that's even better. Our dominion is all over the place, especially against Midgard. So my vampire counts are going to be very effective once I can get Yenocula ready to start bringing him in. Chaos Angel, you're just going to hold out. Alright, let's do a quick little search here to Echis. You are going to bring reinforcements to the front. Oh, and I started recruiting great swords in the capital instead of the Pikeneers. I, it was I was told to do that, and I don't care. Whatever. They're cool. I mean... I like shields. I like shields because they're very defensive, and I like flails because they are good against troops with shields. But I guess against Pangaea, these guys make more sense. They have a ton of armor, great protection, their defense is terrible, but their attack is good, their morale is really good, so, you know, whatever. And we can uh, hold an attack closest right now until we get become part of a larger army, and I want you to be in my trusty little double line. I think that's best versus Pangaea than a single line, because I don't want them breaking through the lines. Meanwhile, we have a ton of wolves and thralls, which are good for patrolling. Okay, Ikus, which province? Let's get you here. Let's just put everybody together here. I'll figure out the details once, uh, once we get there. I think we're on repeat. Yes, we are. So, we're doing good there. All right. We'll do one more. Arcane probing, no sights. Dark knowledge, no sights. No more, no sights. Horror specs, one sight. Hooray! Our nature gem pool is growing ever larger. Colonial, eight slaves. Chaos Angel, you made up for being terrible last turn by collecting 13 this turn, so good show, lad. Good show. Olfia. Yeah. I brought the house here, so if they win this, that's just crazy. Yeah, I don't think they're going to win this. But but you know what, though? All of my mages are in the front lines. Oh. This is what happens when you don't expect your promise to... Whoa, hello. They're just going wild and casting their own... Bit. Wow. Hey, maybe that's what I should do. Just let the mages do what they want to do. Stellar Cascades is an awesome spell. It makes troops fatigue. This is beautiful. I don't think I could have had them do anything better than this if I had planned it myself. Alright. That's what I like to see. That is what I really like to see. All right, excellent. Oh, shoot. Um, did we lose anybody, though? No. Oh, we did. We lost three of our researchers. I guess it must have been to Arrowfire. But we didn't lose anyone with the name. And our fortune teller is still there, and ten rangers. So, all in all, we came out of that really good. Really, really good. But now they have this gigantic army. So now definitely it is time. It is time. For Ooh, another... No, oh, this, this is a slave market we already had? Yeah, I guess. Okay, so we have two slave markets in Enchanted Field. I think I knew all that already. Undying Jay. It's time for you to... Go crazy. No Shadow Bolts now, friend. No, 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 no. You are going to summon Lamashtas. And if you're still alive at that point, hell, do whatever you want. Well, okay, you want to fight? I'll let you fight. Or... For most. Why not? Okay, excellent. Why is this one red? He has two 
mean, he has three gems, right? Someone who knows, tell me why this third one is red, if there's any meaning to it at all. Okay, let's keep him in the back so he doesn't get hit by a stray arrow or something. And uh, it might be worth making this an extra long episode just to see what Jay can do here. I'm, I'm interested to see how this works out. I think the way everything is set up already is great, but I'm going to move all my mages back. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, this is the tedious micro part of the game, and normally I spare you from it by doing this all off camera, but I again, I want to go one more turn real quick to see how how Jay does. And I think you all are interested too. You've never seen a Lamashta before, and uh, Jay, I know, wants to... <sighs> Jay said a very poetic thing. He said that he is a, a, a bird of Hermes, the Greek god, the Greek messenger god, and uh, he, oh gosh, I'm not going to do this right, but he, he's eating his own wings, I guess in reference to the fact that he's not utilizing his full power, just kind of, oh, and Demetric, you were in the front too, that was dumb, and Demetric, you're going to fire uh, large enemy monsters, let's slay as many of those suckers with your ethereal crossbow as you can, uh, yeah, so he's, he's, eating his wings, to basically keeping himself tame and docile for Katarina, but he wants to get, he wants to get let loose. So we are going, we are going to let him loose, is what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, okay. This guy has a morale penalty, so we're going to give these guys to King Midas, who doesn't. And we're actually going to put our great swords with King, oh no, we're not, King Midas is out of room. Yan. You're going to have some great swords thrown in with you and some Pikineers. Okay, so that means Ikus, you, my friend, can go home and get some more troops. Winter Peaks, what happened here? Oh, we caught a scout, that's right. Neolex, you're doing your, your thing. A 9J is going to go crazy in just a minute. Herr Doctor and Andrew can hold out here with some province defense, backing them up. Their, their army's here. Oh, dang it. That's one thing I was going to do. I was going to hire some cool mercenaries, the Eternal Knights, but Pangea got them first. If I had thought about that, they would have been fighting for me instead of Pangea. Oh, well. Chaos Angels now already put his slaves, and unrest is already pretty high. So let's, uh, let's build a lab. I think he's pretty safe. And if not, he'll just kill everything. He has all these blood slaves. He can go crazy with them. Okay. We're still building researchers everywhere automatically, I believe. Yes. Might want to stop that soon to uh, focus more on defense. Plus, it's getting kind of hard to see. We have people everywhere. Adolf, your wait is finally over, my friend. You can build a temple. Like you've always wanted to do. Jora, you were from up here, I think. I think you ran away. You can go back. Or no 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 no! You were my, you were my dark knowledgeer. Exabathia, sure. I believe we could use some knowledge of the dark variety in Exabathia. Baron von Krock is not blood hunting. I guess he can. I'm afraid there's no one patrolling. You know, I want to move patrollers around. How are we doing on wolves? Oh, good. We have 40 wolves. So let's give those to Othar. And now we have another patrol army. Where are they most needed? We're good here. This is where we were having it tough before, but we're not, no one's blood hunting here anymore with Undying Jay fighting. We're great here with Colonial. That province he has pretty locked down. So you are going to move to... Baron von Krock. Well, well, we'll take the scenic route. We have more priests, so if anybody out there still wants a name for a priest, and again, any females want a name, you can get right to the top of the list, because we have plenty of those. And, uh... Since we're recruiting great swords in the capital, I'm going to go back to... I'm going to get rid of the Pikineers and start recruiting the shield guys here. If anybody wants me to recruit some halberdiers, I can. What's cool about them is they're good at defending forts. 
Other than that, though, their length isn't as long as the spears. They don't have the swords. They have a pretty good punch, I guess. 21 slash and pierce damage, whereas these guys only have 10 or 16 pierce damage. So, they're, I mean, they're tougher units. But if you really want halberders, a good idea would be to... And eventually I'm going to switch to the Ghoul Guardians and the Hope by the Black Templars because they can only be recruited here. And my Hopemeisters need some Guardians. But for right now, this is my highest resource province, I believe. I believe so. Let's see. This is 397. No, holy moly. This is much better. 542. Okay. I wish I could build Hopemeisters here because they take resources like nothing else. 237 there. This would have sure been nice had it not been stolen from me. And let's just say they happen to pass up Undying Jay. Let's say they miss each other on the path. Are we going to have enough to defend here? I don't know. I don't know at all. But what I do know is, once again, these mages are going to move to the back. I mean, it doesn't really matter if a few of them die. They're, they're really cheap and... They mostly exist for my amusement and research, but still. What in the world? Okay. Apologize for again for the lack of excitement. Falco, you are going to... You're patrolling, right? So I don't want your guys to necessarily die. You are going to hold... And your guys are going to stay back here. And they are going to hold an attack rear, I guess. Probably the best chance of them staying alive. I wish one other thing this game did is if you... Let's say I hired one of these mages, and I told the system to put them here in the back, that all the ones I would hire after that would go in the back with them. Holy moly, there's a lot of them here. Thing is, Stellar Cascades is a its a cool spell. It fatigues out guys, but it, it doesn't kill them, you know? So it's not necessarily a good replacement for a huge army. Is there anybody we can move up to the front here? We have some more great swords. Not nearly enough, though. Oh, more wolves. No, whatever. We can stay, stay with him. Shoot. Care. Yet Nocula is sitting there waiting patiently. Sorry, buddy. Okay. Midas. The Midas touch. You are going to help these guys out here. Well, that leaves this place pretty. Oh, boy. Dimitric, you are not hiding. You are in a patrol. Oh, we have tons of troops here. Just no one to lead them. Okay. Oh, boy. Ulf here. Can I give you anything? Have an ethereal crossbow. You've been promoted to battlefield command. I'm moving you down to pick up troops. And Tolmaki are next. Yet Nocula. Here's your Brazier. <laughs> And, uh, yeah. Okay, so we have 34, however, which is not enough to summon a new friend. So you're still researching, I guess. Meanwhile, Katarina, we're going to take you back to... We're going to take you back to forging our Flaming Skull. And we are now out of death and fire. Oh, wondrous day. All right. I guess I, I could... Lighthawk can... He's basically just got rangers, but... Alright, Gunderic, you are going to maintain the defense by yourself. Lighthawk is going to... Ah, here we go. Perfect. He will bolster the defense quite nicely while Igira researches. Alright. Adrian, where else can your temple skills be used? Oh, how about here? I didn't, I didn't know. Oops. Oops. I didn't know that we didn't have a temple right there on the, in our hinterlands, but we can't get there. So we can build one here. You notice I'm building temples everywhere, 
And again, it's because my vampire counts are immortal in my own dominion, so it's pretty good to push it. It looks like Pangea is finally getting the jump on that, but I still have... I'm giving more than I'm taking. Although they are catching up, but what, these were in mine a few minutes ago. These are mine here, pretty solidly, which is good because that's where my attack is going to come from. So I think we're in good shape. We're still building mages, but we, we're one turn away from being able to fully utilize them. In fact, I don't, want, I don't necessarily need to go further than that. No, there's nothing here my guys can even cast. Yeah, I'll Storm of Thorns, but... So I'm going to... I'm going to... Come on, there we go. We're going to start doing our blood research. I'll overdo it a bit because... I don't want to accidentally miss it. Alright. One more turn. This one might be about an hour long. Hopefully not. Maybe it'll quit at about 45 minutes. Four levels of blood magic in one turn. I love it. No more. Nothing. Power specs. Nothing. Arcane probing. Nothing. Baron Von Crack. Ten slaves. Colonial ten slaves. Nihilex eight. I wish we could like keep a tab and at the end of the game we can see how many slaves each one of these guys captured. Oh boy. Okay. Winden. This is it. This is it. Unless they moved out, in which case I'll be fighting a Stupid army. And they did. Son of a... Crap. Well, whatever. We can still watch the fireworks. The thralls are taking the arrows. Lamashtas. Okay. Let's look at these ladies here. Yikes. They're wearing like what looks like an apron, covered in blood. They have wings. They have a fear effect of 5, they are invulnerable to 20. Not as good as our counts, but still pretty nice. Poison resistant, undead, ethereal though, my counts are not. And we get two of them with every casting, and this guy just nailed one though. See the prophet? Oh, he didn't do it. Who did it? This guy? No. Elyon. It was him. Really? He can do all that with just one astral and one... Nah, whatever. Well, she just took my Oh, wow, they are just killing everything. Jay, where are you, buddy? There he is. Oh, he is... He's practically... He's pooped. He's lying on the ground. He's not going to even be seeing any. That's. I think that's what the red meant. The red meant... Yeah, after he's done casting all this, he's just going to sit around... Crapping himself. These ladies are doing what they need to do, though. They're leaving Jay alone. Killing all of our enemies in the name of Katarina. And they have taken the province. Jay, there you go, buddy. You are a hero. You're an evil, devil, angel, demon, undead, crazy-ass, summoning hero. 11, only 11 guys died, but it was, it was incredibly entertaining watching them all die. I hope you all agree. Good job, Jay. Good job. Dershid. Okay, they're going to take this. I just put a token defense force here, and they have ethereal centaurs. As if, you know, the regular kind weren't enough. That's actually something I might want to attempt. I could put uh, my second tier members next to a Hokemeister and hope that when they cast... Yeah, ethereal that they get my Hokemeister. That might be, rather than putting an ethereal cloak on the Hokemeisters, that might be the way to go. Olifia. Okay. Midas. Oh my. Okay. Some blood slaves even. Oh, you don't look like a pan. You look like something completely different. You're a black bull. There's a beating heart on your stick. Taro Tyrannos, the Black Bull, is the offspring of a female pandemoniac and a minotaur bull. The rare hybrid. This must be a hero. A worthy hero. He's more worthy than my hero. He has much better magical paths. Oh my. Let's kill this guy. Twist Fate, by the way, which they're auto-casting, is a spell that basically means I believe that if you are to be killed with a hit, it will not, it will not kill you. 
Yeah, the first successful attack against this unit will be negated. So actually, it doesn't even matter if it's going to kill you or not. Any attack will be negated. Okay. Spears are pretty nice against Heavy Cav. We're already starting to hit him. Not doing too much damage. Another bolt. I don't know, folks. This could go either way. Especially with the centaurs just charging right into my flanks. God, these guys are fierce. Okay, their pandemoniac or whatnot is ca the black bull is casting insects. I'll take it. That's pretty ridiculous. Come on, guys. If you win this battle, Midas, you're going to get the honorary nickname Midas Touch. Because you turned a shit situation to gold. And uh, Jan... Or no, that's Grafe. Where's Jan? There he is. Poor Jan with his horror mark. Centaurs are running. And... Since I took that other province, they have nowhere to run to, which means they're going to die. Boom. Yeah, take that, Minotaurs. These guys are the two bravest soldiers in the history of Ulm, facing down an entire horde of Minotaurs and Dryad Hoplites. Who are you, sir? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I guess you died. And you don't have a name anyway, since you're not a commander. If you did, though, it would be memorialized in the history of Ulm forever. Yeah. Here comes trouble. Oh, look at their little hats. Get him. Yeah. This guy's... Look at him. Look at him. That is one brave man right there. One brave little heavy infantry. Boom. We just killed something with that. Good job, Vilmia. Our shield guys haven't even really entered the battle yet. These guys are a bit too strung out for my liking. I like my troops to attack en masse. And you think if anybody had the training to do that, it'd be these guys. Now the Dryads are going to be unique because they have awe. And so many of my guys aren't even going to be able to hit them. But they make up for that fact by being pretty weak. I think we've got this. Where's the old jerk? There he is. I'm going to enjoy seeing him die. Oh, it's not a beating heart. It looks like a skull, but it's just a bloody, yucky skull. Okay, we're going to speed this up just a little bit. I don't want to be here all week. Throwing earth elementals at me? Here they come. Get him! Get him! Come on, get him! No, not the crossbowman. The big giant bull dude. Wow, do needs to put on some pants though. I'm pretty serious about that. No, don't let him run. Quick, he's 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 a. Uh, Unconscious! Take him out! Get him! Come on, guys. Whoa! Hello! Hi! What in the... <laughs> yeah! That's what you guys do, research mages. Just teleport right into the, right into the middle of the battle. Because, you know, you have armor and fighting skills. That was pretty cool, though. We took him out. We took him out pretty badly. Black Bull, done. These guys got away, but... Minotaurs? Well, the Cataphracts, 14 of 19. Minotaurs, 10 of 10. 1 of 1 of these guys. Four, uh, 8 of 9 of the Dryad Hoplites. And we lost no leaders in this entire exchange. The Pikineers took it pretty hard, but the infantries are still going strong. Sulfuria. 
Oh, that's that's clever. It's a swamp in Sulfuria. Yeah, sure. Unfortunately, we lost that one. So now they're really getting close to us here. Exabathia. Trying that again. Oh yeah, these guys could have been mine. They could have been mine. They're, wow, wow, you have some experience or what? So that means for every one of these five stars, he gets plus one to like strength. Well, plus two, I guess, to strength. I don't know how that works. Plus five to uh, attack. Plus five to defense. Wow. And they all have it. Hmm. And they regenerate. Yeah. Great. That was that was just great. All right. Well, we've gone on really long, but we got to see Undying Jay just by himself take out a province. Um. And apparently he died. Yeah, there he is. He has an affliction. He's diseased. Well, good for you, Undying Jay. You are undead, so that doesn't mean anything to you, but I didn't think that you died. Well, whatever. So we're of course going to take this back, but we really got to deal with this. These guys are kind of pissing me off. Luckily, we're in much better shape than we've been in quite a while, but I'll take care of the, the nitty gritty during the break. Thank you so much for watching. We finally got to see an amazing couple battles that were a lot of fun, and uh, since it's right at the end of the video, only my, my true fans are probably still watching, I want to remark again that if one of you or two of you could, in the forums on Steam, please post a link to my videos. Uh, I'd just really appreciate that if, if someone could handle that for me. I mean, you know, no big deal if you don't, but if you could, that would be really nice. Alright everyone, have a good one.